How you liking the NBA so far? It's all good, man. Getting used to it, you know? Oh, okay. That's good to hear. Because, you know, I thought the game might be too fast for you. Come on. You talking that stuff already? Look, man, when I start showing up on magazine covers, don't be jealous, all right? That's right? Yeah. How don't we make a little uh, challenge? Yeah. You outscore me tonight, I'll admit on social media that you're the better player. Which you won't. But uh, if I outscore you, you have to try to do the same. Man, that's the easiest bet I ever made. A word? Yeah. Oh. But you know what? I don't think it's fair, man. You even got any fans? <laughs> Let's find out. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to be giving you guys my impressions on NBA 2K14 for next gen. Um, ever since I started, I was going through a bunch of problems. So, you know, now that everything's fine, you know, I made a new PSN. My career is going great. I'm about 10 to 20 games in. I'm feeling very, very good about this game. But I still have a few gripes that I would like to, you know, point out. But, man, I will have to say, out of everybody that was saying, you know, the storyline is cheesy and the my career and, you know, people aren't going to like it. I love it, to tell you the truth. Now, the only thing with the storyline is you can't key game it. You actually have to go through, you know, play every game, it seems like, you know, or, you know, time will skip ahead and continue on. But going up against Jackson Ellis, it's, it's pretty cool. You know, every game that we play, we come out center court, talk our stuff. You know, we might have a few words after the game, place a couple bets, you know, on the game, who will win, who will get a certain amount of things like steals and blocks and all of that. I really like the storyline, and for everybody that um, has waited for next gen for Xbox One, I guarantee that you'll like this game. Now, uh, to you know, go on from that, um, more storyline about my career is, uh, I guess you could say the part is sort of a storyline in its own because you can have your own dunk package and dribbling packages in that mode as well. But what's funny about it is, I actually did a few street moves in a regular game. Now, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there or if that needs to be patched. But, uh, you know, as one of my impressions, I think that it should be patched because I did a helicopter dribble where I actually, like, let the ball dribble and I spun around like like, like a 360 or something. It was crazy. It was crazy. So, you know, I, I feel like that needs to be patched. Um, another thing on my list would have to be the drop-down defense automatically. Now, uh, in current gen... Well, I'm sorry, last gen. I know a lot of people were like, man, stop saying current gen. On, when I was playing on Xbox 360, there was an option for you to drop down the defense. But on 2K14 for PS4, you automatically drop down the defense like you did in 2K13. So I'm kind of mad about that because what happens is when I'm playing defense or when I'm just, you know, stepping up to a defender, when I automatically drop down, he can blow right by me. And the, the animation for that is me putting my hands on his shoulders and him blowing right past me. And it kind of sucks because it happens to me a lot. Um, next up is um, I will have to say... The jump shooting that was in when I was playing Xbox 360 was terrible. Um, I could miss probably about, I would say, 60 to 70 percent of my shots. And I would have a high rating, um, a signature skill that's supposed to complement my jump shooting. But the shots just would not fall, especially for mid range. I felt like for mid range, I would miss more than I would from three point range, which kind of doesn't make any sense seeing as though a mid range jump shot is supposed to be easier. Plus, you shoot those more in rhythm instead of catch and shoot. Now, uh, you know, to go into jump shooting for PS4, it's beautiful. Um, I have Steve Nash's jump shot, it's on quick release, and I have probably about a 75 to 80 rating. And as long as I get it like excellent A plus around there, I could probably make it, I would say, 87 to 93 percent of the time, which makes sense because when I lose my defender or, you know, I give him a couple jab steps, give him a couple moves and he backs away. 
it's easy for me to hit those shots. Like, see right there, I put a couple, a little, little hesitation on him. He, he stayed down in defense because he didn't know if I was going to drive or if I was going to shoot. So when I shot over top of him, he reacted late and I made the shot, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm shooting 66% from the field, but, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to raise that up, I promise. But, uh... <laughs> Another impression of uh, NBA 2K14, um, the parks, I like the fact that they do call fouls and that, you know, you just get the ball on possession or you can, you know, make the shot and then, you know, play on. I like that. But the park is very, very glitched I can, because um, it was an open court. I was trying to play, and we it was like 10 of us. We all got next, and we just standing there like, yeah, la-da-da, la-da-da. Da, 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 da. And we just we're not going to be able to play that game. So, you know, I backed out of the park, did something different, and it was cool. Um, another thing about NBA 2K14 on PS4, the jewelry, it does not boost attributes this year. So I'm very, very happy about that. I can have blue diamonds, black ice, gold, silver, whatever. I can have on any type of jewelry on a black top. And it will not affect my my players ratings at all. I love that because, you know, on PS, well, not PS3, but on Xbox 360, when I brought the jewelry, all of my attributes, you know, bumped up plus 10. People was like, oh, he buying VC. So, you know, I'm happy to say that I am now a 68 overall and we are in December in my my career. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now, uh, another thing, the blocks. I like the way that they happen on PS4. They don't happen like, you know, just Phantom where, you know, you automatically go up and you just get blocked every time. They kind of happen more out of position. You guys are probably going to have to get a feel for that when you play the game. So for all my people that's on PS4, you probably know where I'm coming from. But, you know, guys on, that's going to get it on Xbox One, you'll see. But I will say this. The same cheesy players from... Xbox 360, PS3, you know, when guys play my team, you know, you know who cheesy and you know who not. Like, take the homie Green. He is very cheesy. Like, he dropped 20 points in this game. Like, it was crazy. It was OD. So, you know, man, I guess I guess I could say that maybe, mm, no, they're still cheesy. <laughs> but everything is pretty good. Um, What's another thing on here? My GM. Um, I have dabbled in my GM a little bit. Um, I will be, you know, making videos on that soon. But I kind of want to get like five to ten videos set before I move on. Plus, there's a roster update coming from 2K that I will need before I play my GM because they still have Royce White on the team. And I don't like that. <laughs> so, you know, we you got a guy out here that has anxiety. He doesn't like to get on planes. And he's in New Orleans playing us and on an away game. Really? Seriously? True? Okay. Yeah, right. Um, another thing uh, about my career. I will have to say that the menu system is very complex and sometimes confusing. Because, you know, you just... Press on the nav button and you got to scroll through all of these things, then scroll through them and those, then scroll through them and those, which makes it very confusing. A lot of people have been asking me, where do I find this? Where do I find that? Oh, also, another thing, the, the uh, call a quick play. You need to press left on the D-pad, R2, and then your quick plays will pop up. But let's get into halftime, y'all. Pushing in with that mid-range jumper. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Suns ahead, up by four. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris. Yes, guys, I'm here with Anthony Davis. And Anthony, based on how the game has been going so far, what's your attitude going to be when you come out to play the second half? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and try to go out there and win the third quarter. Anthony, thank you. Guys, it should be all business when you step between the lines. All right, Doris, thank you. And folks, stay right where you All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we're in the fourth quarter with only 53 seconds left, it looks like it was a great game for us. Um, we're going to win it out. <laughs> but uh, I will say that the halftime real voice things, they're cool and all, but they kind of get old because you play, what, 82 games? You know, and you can play even more than that. I'm looking to go to the Hall of Fame with this player. So, you know, I got to play a whole lot of games. I'm going to see that all the time. 
there should have been times where they actually did scenes with my my player whoever you create they should have had his voice you know the posture I really, i'm really not worried about the superman posture but they should have had voice recorded for your my player so you know when he becomes a star or whatever they can do halftime reports with him and you know you can get that feel like oh that's dope but um right here i was just checking stats on ellis obviously you see that all the teams are putting up a whole lot of points and i kind of like that you know our team isn't a super team but if you think about it you got drew holiday Reek Evans, Eric Gordon, Anthony Davis. That's four people that could average 15 to 20 points easily. So, you know, I'm liking the way that that is going. But, uh, yeah, man, we went out. I got 10 points. Got the last second shot. Trying to get my VC up. You know how I do. But I hope you guys like my impression video. Um, I'm liking the game so far. Now, in current, I'm sorry, in last gen, I really didn't have fun playing 2K14 too much. But with this PS4 version, I am actually loving it. Now, uh, the game is over. We're about to get into the cutscene with me and Jackson Ellis. I'm going to see you all in the next video. Peace. I tell you. Now the whole world knows where the real talent lies. I don't know what happened out there. I thought I had your number in that one for sure. Lucky game, I guess. Lucky? <sighs> Come on, man. You know we got a whole lot more games out here to prove who's got the bigger ego. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Shit. Guess I'm gonna have to come out even stronger next time, huh? You're gonna be an afterthought after the next time the game's Ain't over. happening, Jack. Hey, and you know what? Don't forget to tell the media about my skills tonight. You know, since I won that bet and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! I was hoping you forgot about that. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.